Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're doing well. And this video is a little bit of a quick video about three different things specific to Luminar Neo. The first one is they've got a summer sale that launches today. I'll put a link down below, I'll tell you that in a second. The second one is they snuck out another update to the product. I don't know how they do it, but I love it. I mean, God bless these people in Ukraine, they're amazing, they, they honestly blow my mind. And uh, they keep bringing out updates to Luminar Neo. It's fantastic. I'll talk about that. And then third, I've got a photo I did a little edit to, and I thought I'd share a couple of pieces of that as part of a uh, an idea that I wanted to share with you. So let's talk about it. The first thing, and here's the photo, by the way. I'll scoot myself out of the way. Just get over there, Jim. That's the photo. I've already done a little bit to it, but I'm going to show you a couple other things. But the first thing is the Luminar Neo summer sale. So if you don't have Neo, Honestly, with this update and other stuff that's coming, it's this close to like realizing the dream, so to speak. Like the dream is real. I mean, we're this close to having everything that we wanted. So I'm really excited about that. But the summer sale, it's it's an amazing deal. If you already own Skyland products, you can get one copy of Luminar Neo for $49 uh, or $59 for two. And if you don't own any Skyland products, you can get a single copy for $64 or two copies for $84. It's an amazing price, to be honest, and the power and capability in Luminar Neo, to me, just gets better all the time. If you haven't checked out my playlist, I think it's in that corner. I always forget. I'm pretty sure it's my left hand I got to put up. Tons of free education for you to get up to speed on this product if you're new to it. And that's the first thing. The second thing is, let's take a look at this photo. There's an update out. It's version 1.0.7. So if you haven't yet updated, just go over here and click on Check for Updates. It's a free update. If you already own Luminar Neo, this is a free update, and it includes two things that you're really gonna care about, and the third one that you may not care about. Depends on where you live, I guess. The first one is you can now favorite these tools. I'll show you that. The second one is you can use masking capabilities, including Mask AI on layers. That's pretty sweet. And then the third one is there's a bunch of languages uh, that are now supported. In addition, as with any update, and every update I should say, there are bugs that have been squashed, all that sort of thing. But what I wanna do is show you the stuff that I will be using. Primarily, that's gonna be favoriting some of these tools on the right-hand side, because there's a lot of tools here and you can't collapse these sections. I kind of wish you could, um, but you can't collapse these sections. And so I find myself, I'm up here in the essentials section. I do my develop and blah, blah, blah. And then I come down here and I'm like, what do I want to do next? Well, I want to go to super contrast next, especially because I like to do light early and contrast, super contrast does a lot with the light. Well, now you can just right click on it and click on add to favorites. As soon as you do that, you will see here, it is no longer in the professional category. Oh no, it's gone. Well, that's okay. It's up here at the top in favorites. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and fave color harmony as well. And now I don't have anything down there. I just have the portrait section, which admittedly I'm not a portrait uh, professional, so to speak. So I only use them occasionally. So I don't have to worry about scrolling all the way to the bottom. So I've got the two from professional at the top now because I use them a lot and I was always having to go to the bottom. Now I don't have to. So you can just favorite those, stick them up there and note that they will disappear from the category that they were in. The other one that I use a lot is toning. I'm gonna to add to favorites. You'll see it is gone from creative, but it's up here in your favorite section. And as you can see, they are uh, showing up in the order here in which that you fave them from the oldest at the bottom to the newest at the top. And no, you can't drag them and rearrange them. Okay, so that's part of the update. Again, free update, totally awesome, by the way. I also mentioned Layers now has the ability to use things like Mask AI. So if you want to do Mask AI stuff, just like applying something specific to a sky or to whatever, you can go do that. If you want to see some videos about Layers, leave me a comment down below and let me know. And by the way, if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up. So those are the first two things I wanted to talk about. Luminar Neo Summer Sale and the new update, version 1.0.7. Honestly, like I said, blows my mind that they're continuing to put out product updates. I love it. Uh, hats off to, uh, to all our friends over at Skylum Software, just doing an amazing job. So now I've got this photo, and what I wanted to do is make some adjustments to it. It's a spring photo, and what I want to do is pop those colors. If you look at the before, there it is. That's my base raw file, and after I've done some stuff, as you can see, I brightened the shadows, pulled on the highlights, gave it a little accent AI, blah, 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 but now I want to play with color and make some adjustments to this photo. The thing that I see is that this green is really just, in my opinion, a bit out of control, so I'm going to go into the saturation, and i got to look at my notes. 
I'm going to pull the yellow down. That's one thing to be aware of. If you're shooting springtime photos, there's lots of green in springtime photos. So let's call this some springtime photo tips. If you're trying to adjust the saturation or the intensity of that green, play with the yellow. It, it makes a difference every time. Now that doesn't mean ignore the green because I'm still going to come in here with the green and pull that down as well. But that saturation reduction has tamed some of that green. As you can see, there it is before and there it is now. So keep that in mind. They go together really well, yellow and green for adjusting foliage, things like uh, green grass, green trees. I'm going to go ahead and pull that magenta, which is kind of in the pink realm, up. I want to pop that pink and I'm also going to go into luminance because that's also going to uh, help me uh, control this uh, yellow and green. So I'm going to pull that down like a 12 or 13, something like that in the yellow and then a little bit less in the green. And there you go. I have now reduced that across the entire photo. But you know what? I kind of liked it in the trees, to be honest. I just didn't want those bushes kind of on the horizon to get overdone. Um, and I got to be careful on some of the pinks as well. So I'm going to get a linear gradient and I'm just going to click and drag that. So if you're not familiar with how masking works, check out my masking masterclass. That's a lot of M's. Check out that video. It may give you some ideas about how this thing, uh, these things work. So I've got this uh, gradient here in place and I'm gonna do something about like that where I'm just kind of fading it across some of this um, foliage on the horizon. In fact, I'm gonna lift it a little bit. So something about like that, and I can go back over here. I can make further adjustments if I need to, but if you look at the before and the after, there it is before, and there it is after. That also means I did not get that extra 15 on magenta in the foreground, but I think that's gonna be okay because the other thing I wanna do is pop contrast. And hey, I don't have to go to the bottom anymore for that. It's at the top because super contrast is definitely one of my favorites. Hey, by the way, if you want a video about my favorite tools, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. So first thing I'm going to do is go to highlights, and I'm going to go to about a 30 here, uh, just adjusting the contrast. I'm going to about a 20 here on midtones, and I'm doing about a 35 in the shadows. However, with the shadow, and you can see how that's popping color. That's one of the reasons I wanted to share this, and that is um, the colors get more intense because contrast is the difference between the bright parts and the dark parts. And so when you're doing this by zone, you're really impacting how colors look quite a bit. I'm actually going to take this shadow balance all the way to negative 100, and that created a bit more vibrant photo. So imagine if I did not reduce that green and yellow earlier because it's pretty intense right now. In fact, I might would go back and get that tool again which is an awesome thing you can do in Luminar Neo is use a tool twice or three times or 27 times, whatever it is you need, but it gives you lots of power and flexibility. But super contrast had a super impact on this photo. There it is one more time before and after pretty intense. It may not be to everybody's liking, but I really like that pink and I don't get to shoot flowers like this in Austin. This was in Portland, by the way, when I was up there recently in Oregon. And man, I saw this and I was like, I have got to stop and take photos of this. Uh, and there were quite a few streets like this. I just caught it at the perfect time. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go to develop and I'm going to do a slight brightening. So like maybe a two, five or a three, something like that. A slight reduction in highlights. So maybe like a negative 10. And then I'm going to pop over here to vignette and just wrap this up with this simple little vignette, just a light bit of uh, vignette there, slightly darker on the edges, slightly brighter in the center, and in fact, not even that bright and not even that dark. I'm just gonna go something pretty light and straight down the center is fine with me in this one. There it is before and there it is after. And that is my edit, my friends. I took a photo that looked like that as a raw file and now it looks like that. And that's pretty intense and pretty bright. And in fact, I might come in here Here's another thing to play with. When you have a lot of greens and yellows, don't hesitate to play a little bit with your temperature. Uh, the blue might help here and the tint because that tint is gonna get me away from some of that green. Just be careful with a photo like this and this might be where you need to come in and do things more specifically in color and HSL. But um, if I drag too much to the tint, I fear my photo is gonna look like that, which is crazy over the top and I kinda like it to be honest. But because that tint, is taking it more to the magenta. I'm basically accentuating that pink color, which I already did some accentuation of in HSL. So be careful not to double dip, but I kind of like that. Um, I think that pulls that back a little bit and I kind of like that. Also be careful with the blue and I'm going a little bit left to the temperature. I want to be careful not to overdo that because this white truck and that white truck and that white house, 
might start looking blue if I'm not careful. So just pay attention to what you're doing. It's just something I'm thinking about. And now that I'm in here, I've just, I gotta go back to the color uh, saturation and pull that yellow down a little bit more. So see, this is a great example. Look at that, see? Look at the difference that yellow makes, right? So I don't wanna go so negative that it's kinda dying off because it is springtime. And so if I have no green, it's gonna look weird, but I want a little bit of green. I just don't wanna overdo it. So, you know, maybe something about like that. I'm gonna go play with it and get it just right. Anyway, those are my tips and that's what I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching my friends. Luminar Summer Sale is in effect right now. That was very country sounding, sorry. I do live in Texas. Every now and then I sound a little country. Um, second thing, go get that free update because it's awesome and you can now fave your tools and stick them over there. And number three, I wanted to give you some tips on some springtime editing for like flowers and you know, just meadows, whatever you might be frolicking in as you're out shooting. Anyway, thanks for watching my friends. I'll be back really soon. You guys take care of yourselves. Thanks for stopping by. It's fun hanging out with you. Love interacting with you in the comments. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this stuff. Thumbs up if you like it. That tells YouTube you kind of like this stuff. It's a free way to give me a little bit of support, which is great. And thanks. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Whew, easy for me to say, right? See you in the next video. Take care, my friends. And until then, adios.